yeah it's beautiful fish what's going on you guys welcome back to our channel today we're here at a lake we've never fished at before and we will be using live minnows and live worms we're not targeting anything in particular just whatever bites so we'll see how it goes every time we get a catch we will show you guys what is biting and let you know if it's biting the worm or the minnow so we got a minnow on this pole it's bobber out there we got a worm on this pole so see what happens my first ever pike and she's beautiful little fat thing all right here she goes oh yeah she's ready she's kicking there she goes first fish on the worm happened to be this beautiful look at the colors on this guy beautiful bluegill we did get a fish on the minnow too it was a chain pickerel we're gonna get this beauty off so far worm one minnow one we just got another bite on the worm we just caught a warm mouth on, what was that, the minnow or the worm? This is on the worm. And he is actually pooping out somebody's soft plastic. That is crazy. I bet he feels better. <laughs> yeah, I bet he feels a lot better. Alright guys, quick update. You can see the wind is crazy right now. We um, we actually ended up getting stormed out. It started raining, the wind was crazy, there was a little bit of thunder. Now we're in between storms. But so far the worm is up two to one. The minnow has caught a chain pickerel. The worm has caught a bluegill and a warm mouth. We're gonna keep going. We still have some minnows left. We got plenty of worms left. When all is said and done, we will see which bait prevails. All right, guys. Um, so the minnow, look at the pretty orange eyes on them. So the minnow took this baby right here and I was off scouting other areas so I didn't get to film Maddie reeling this pretty baby in. My thumb. <laughs> the bass thumb is real. But yeah, it's beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Thanks buddy. You're really pretty. number what is this five fish number five and it is a bluegill on the worm perfect hook set yeah so we're gonna let that pretty baby go all right Flop. bye buddy all right you guys so we are done we are calling it a day it is about to storm again as you can see the clouds up above me i think if we came out on a better day when it wasn't raining and storming on and off Things might have went a little bit different, but for today, the minnow caught two fish. The worm got, it was either three or four fish altogether. All right guys, before we leave the city we're in, we have a few more stops to make. It's not a city, but before we leave the, the city, town, whatever, whatever it is we're in, we got a few more stops to make. It's very historic and um, I know it's not really anything to do with fishing, but hey, it is a stop on our fishing trip, so. Where 
over yet? I don't know. <laughs> struggle in defense of principles believe fundamental to the existence of our government. We surrendered 9,000 men. Right here is where the Confederate soldiers surrendered to the Union. And where some of those men are buried. Oh, this is pretty. Look how beautiful it is out through here, guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that beautiful tree. Mathematics. Here on Sunday, only seven of the 19 men here are declared People still find, like, showcases, bullets, and all of that type of stuff. And once upon a time, it was not so peaceful in this area. All right, you guys, we had to stop and get some food on the way home. I'm not really a history person, but this place is pretty cool. It's pretty cool to stop and see all the different things that have happened and just a lot of history here in Appomattox, Virginia. So. Can I have a mobile order? Okay, you can pull around for me. All right, thank you. Frosty Chino. Would they have a frosty cappuccino? I'm oh, sorry. That sounds really good. A frosty I cappuccino. I've got the strawberry frosties since it's new. Go get it.